Hey, it's Mini Chocobo, and welcome to my loot from 500 Easy Caskets. A couple weeks ago on Old School RuneScape, there was a clue scroll update, which added beginner clues as well as a ton of new clue scroll items. So this seemed like the perfect time to go ahead and go for the giant spade, which requires me to complete 500 easy clues. They also made it so the casket stack, so I went ahead and collected 500 of them to open all at once. I live streamed myself opening the 332 beginner caskets as well as the 500 easy caskets, and I'm gonna do the same for the 400 medium caskets, which are soon to follow. So if you're interested in that and you'd like to watch the next opening live, I'll leave my Twitch link in the description of this video. So I went ahead and did the impling method just like I did for beginners for easy clues. I originally started with gourmet implings, but went ahead and sold them back to buy young implings once I found out that they dropped both easy and beginner tier clue scrolls. One thing to note in this video is that the impling prices were a little bit more expensive because of the clue scroll update, but also the new clue items were way more pricey than they will be in like a month month or so. For example, while opening these caskets, the Cape of Skulls was worth 25 mil. Regardless of when you decide to do easy clues, I think that they are always relatively profitable. There are a lot of cosmetic items which actually do have a little bit of value, simply because they're not over farmed like mediums are for rangers. Also, with Cape of Skulls always going to have value at least of a couple mil, as well as with all the other team capes and the monk robes, I think these are relatively profitable, even in the long run. I also did almost receive the drop rate of master clues from opening easy clues in this video, and I'll go ahead and open all of those towards the end. A big spoiler is, I I did receive a mimic, so I included that boss fight into this video just because I wanted to go ahead and test it for my hardcore Iron Man. I didn't do the optimal strat, but I wanted to go ahead and test the safest way possible. Unlike mediums where you're specifically hunting ranger boots and the spiked manacles, easy clue scrolls have a lot more consistency in terms of value of items, such as the golden chest hat that I just received, that was a free 450k, and they tend to be pretty prevalent. There are also a lot of free to play items such as the iron plate body G, as well as the wizard robes trimmed, that seem to have a lot of value. For a couple hundred k each, these are definitely worth doing as a beginning player. I apologize for a couple of clue scrolls being missing from this, I wanted to go ahead and take the VOD from my stream initially, and unfortunately the VOD quality is only 480p because of the fact that I'm not in a Twitch affiliate so I couldn't save the VOD at any higher than that. Unfortunately, some of the clips I did forget to use Camtasia on, and if you would have noticed at like 471, it skipped to 468, but at least I recorded all the loot and it was all in my inventory, it just I didn't get to actually open the clue on this video. If you noticed, I received my first pair of flared trousers. I have five pairs of flared trousers and 700 clue scrolls on my hardcore Iron Man. This item is just magnetized to me or something because I just constantly get them. Flared trousers are a very nostalgic thing, I swear I used to wear them in every outfit I had back in 2008 and I'd match them with every skill cape because they just look good with all the elegant and I used to love elegant. Really do like the dance emote as well. If you didn't know the flare trousers actually have a customized dance emote. Getting to the halfway mark, I had already received four or five master clues. According to the wiki, a master clue from an easy casket is a one in 50, so I was pretty much right on the drop rate. One of the things I really like about opening easy clues compared to the beginner ones was there were so many different items that I really didn't receive as many duplicates as I thought I would. But that was also somewhat of a double-edged sword because I definitely did not have the bank space for these. Thank you to Zorad, Company, and Douglas for actually holding all of the items for me while I did this opening. This was when I received my first brand new very valuable clue item, the ham joint. At first I did not realize it was 5 mil, but holy crap, I was not expecting it to be worth that much and I didn't even know it existed, so I was quite excited to get this. I thought it actually looked really cool, so I held it throughout the rest of this video pretty much. Then right after receiving receiving the ham join, I actually got another valuable item, the Team Cape Zero. Initially on stream, I thought this was the Skull Cape because I didn't right click it and I was just really excited to get it, but honestly, even though it wasn't the Skull Cape, it's still worth 2.8 mil, so it's a very, very good easy clue for anybody's standards. I'm not sure if I'll ever do another easy clue opening, but if I do end up doing another one, it's going to be probably a thousand clues on my hardcore Iron Man, just so I can go ahead and complete the easy clue box. So many of these easy clue items are just so nostalgic to me, such as the black armor with gold trim. Back in like 2006 and 2007, if you saw somebody with that in free to play, you just knew they were like insane at the game, even though in reality they probably weren't. Also, I did end up getting another pair of flared trousers, so just insane luck, I apologize. I remember Mr. Mammal needed like 1200 
clues to get that, and I've gotten six or seven now in little under 900 clues in total. To make it even better, I actually forgot to mention that I got a double flared trouser clue on my hardcore Iron Man at some point. If I recall correctly, I think in pre-EOC, the flared trousers were actually the most valuable item from Easy Clues. It then occurred to me that I had not re-geared for a master clue in quite a long time, and now looking at the VOD, I went over 230 clues dry for a master clue from Easy. so that's the point where I really fell below the average amount of masters that I should have had during this opening. Since I had already had some Easy Clues done prior to doing this video, I actually did manage to get the large spade before finishing all 500. I really love the large spade. I got this actually on my Hardcore Iron Man before my main account, and I just needed to get it again because it was so cool. And as you saw there, with exactly 100 clues left, I did get another master clue. So as I said before, it was over 230 clues without getting another master. I got another one of the notable new rewards, the Leather Body G. Not really useful for accounts, I don't think. Correct me if I'm wrong there, but I'm pretty sure nobody would use this. But at the time, it was still worth 500k, so kind of cool. Whenever I open these clue caskets, it's definitely the best feeling ever on RuneScape, just having a ton of them and knowing I get to match click them all at once. You kind of get numb to the idea of clicking them until you finish it, probably like 100 caskets in, so it's not the end of the world. Originally, I planned on actually saving all of my master caskets for a 100 master casket video, but I think people really wanted to see what I got with the easy clues. At this point, since I was almost 90% of the way through all of the clue scrolls, I kind of came to terms with not necessarily getting a cape of skulls, and I was really banking on the master clues hopefully giving me something worth a ton of money. And here I was entering the final stretch of clue scrolls. I managed to still keep getting some uniques, but nothing too notable. The most notable things would be a black kite shield G, as well as a black plate body G, almost right afterwards. And also I did manage to get another duplicate golden chef's hat, which is pretty cool, but um, it's not worth as much as a lot of the other items that are as rare as it, so a little disappointing, but not the end of the world. In total, I ended with eight master caskets, and prior to this video, I actually had just opened a master casket and gotten an obsidian cape R, which was worth three mil. So I was kind of really biased about these, and I was hoping to make some real money off of them. This is when I received my first ever mimic. I have not had one of these on my hardcore Iron Man yet, and I'm really glad I got to test it on my main account first. I heard two different opinions on what was best to use on the Mimic. Somebody said range, somebody said mage. I decided to try the autocast with max mage method with blood barrage, just because I figured that if I were to disconnect, this will probably be my most likely chance of actually living and or ring a lifing. I decided this would be the best. I had no clue what to pray or anything. I probably, if I were to do this again on my hardcore, would have brought maybe more tanky gear. I don't need as much mage bonus as this. And let's be real, I don't have every single item that I have on my main on my hardcore anyways. So I probably would change it up a bit. But maybe I'll try blowpiping the next one because... Mage was okay, but honestly, he's not too bad of a boss. I definitely can kill this on my hardcore pretty safely. Unfortunately, the Mimic only did drop me 15 Mantas, but I did get the old Demon Mask, which was my first unique from Masters, and then followed by the double unique here, the Fancy Tiara and the Bullwig. I was really disappointed to find out these were worth so little. The total clue with two uniques was only 261k. I do like the Bullwig though, it's pretty cool. And unfortunately, there was no new Third Age to be found. Now comes the challenging part of actually calculating all of the loot. One thing about clue scroll items, and especially newer ones, is that their price tags don't always represent what people are actually willing willing to pay for them in the grand exchange. Before collecting all of the clue items, I needed to go ahead and sell off all of the impling loot that I received from all of the young implings and gourmet implings that I had opened. I used a runelight plugin to go ahead and track the exact amount of items I got from the easies and master caskets. Just remember to keep in mind that the estimated total amount of loot is definitely not accurate to the prices of the item in the grand exchange. Now it came time to actually trading over all the items, and let me tell you, this was a lot harder of a process than I had originally thought it was going to be. Since there are only 8 item slots in the Grand Exchange, to actually sell off all of these items for their mid-value would take an unreal amount of time. So honestly, I just 
actually sold all the items for their instant values unless they literally wouldn't sell for a third of their estimated value i just always would sell them because it just wasn't worth that amount of time also at this point you'll notice that i didn't sell off all of my beginner clue items yet so you might notice in the video some beginner clue stuff but i'll go ahead and subtract that at the end just so you have a clear idea of how much i made exactly from the easy clues Honestly, even at 15 times speed, this probably took me close to 3 hours to sell everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and just fast forward to me actually finishing off selling literally everything. One notable item that didn't sell for nearly as much as I thought it would was the ham joint, which originally was worth 4.9 mil in the grand exchange, but unfortunately I was only able to sell it for 3.15 mil or so. Also, keep in mind that that 44 mil is not purely from easy clues. There are some items of beginner clues that I sold off right away because I knew that they were dropping rapidly, but I'll go ahead and calculate that exactly here in the profit section. Calling this a profit section is definitely falsifying what actually happened. I definitely did not make profit doing this video. Since I had bought these implings relatively close to when the update was actually released, I was paying pretty high prices for them. On top of this, it took me a while to actually complete a total of 832 clue scrolls, so there was no way items weren't going to drop in the time it took me to actually get every single casket. From just decreases in impling value, by the time I actually sold off my implings for losses, I actually lost close to 15 mil total. So that, plus the cost of the actual implings themselves, was a total of 59.9 mil. The total profit including impling loot as well as masters, beginners, and easies came out to be around 49 mil, so I was down around 10 mil. Regardless of RNG, you definitely would probably break even if you were to do this video when prices were relatively more stable, even using implings. Keep in mind that I didn't even get a cape of skulls. If I would have gotten one of those, I would have definitely profited from this video. I can't believe we're already getting relatively close to 2,000 subscribers. A month ago, I was a little under 900, so it's just crazy to see the amount of growth. Thank you to each and every one of you. I really appreciate it. If you have any feedback on how to better make these videos for you to watch, please feel free to leave me some criticism. Any constructive criticism helps, regardless of how much it hurts to hear. So thank you very much, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you again soon.